Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print on demand journey. Today it's time for another how-to video. I'd like to show you how you can upload a font, a new font into Canva. If you've been following me on my channel, you know that a lot of print on demand designs I just design with Canva because I think it's fast, it works well, they sell and you know I can do with Canva everything I want to do and it uh, it is efficient enough and sufficient for me to do whatever I need to do um, to create print on demand designs which are selling but um, yeah as I said someone asked um, if I could do a video about how to upload a font into Canva because what essentially you do you have your font family different fonts here in Canva but if there is something coming up like Halloween, for example, that is coming up in Q4, you want some proper fonts that you can then use and um, to, to sort of, you know, differentiate yourself from the competition. Now, I'm going to download a font first. I'm on Creative Fabrica here. You can actually test Creative Fabrica for a dollar. Well, not only test, you can actually use it for a dollar if you follow the link in the description. It's an affiliate link, but it gives you the possibility to access like three million fonts and graphics. Um, also for print on demand for a month and um, yeah you can you have unlimited downloads in that month so first of all on creative fabrica i just use it now for uh, illust you know to illustrate how it works because here under fonts you can click on it and you find various fonts so very easily first of all on creative fabrica just click download if you find a font select it click download and it will download it first and it's coming into a zip folder Right, if I open that zip folder, you can find different ones. So the dingbat font type or a regular one, it just depends on you know, which one you like. And then each font type has a different um, file type as well. There is the true type font and open type font. They will work, both work with Canva. And in reality, you, don't, will, you will not find there is a difference. Um, there is, however, I think one of them is a newer file type and I talked about that in a previous video I can't remember at the moment but you can easily google that but both will work in Canva so that's not an issue um, but only you only need to upload one of them into Canva so for illustration purposes I will just use the true type font now because it has a smaller file size than the open type font I guess that probably means that the true type font is the new one um, the new type file type but I, I don't know anyway what you do you extract it obviously into your folder and from there you can upload into Canva. So as you can see here, I've now copied that font from the um, from the zip file into a download folder. What I'm gonna do now, I'm going to go into Canva to upload this font into Canva. Okay, I'm now in Canva. I created already a canvas here uh, with 4,500 by 5,400. That's also normally the file size or the uh, canvas size that I use. What you have to do before you can upload a file, uh, a font, you need to first go to text here on the left hand side and you have to add a heading or just any text here. But I normally go with add a heading because that is essentially how you add a text into ca in, in Canva. Uh, then you can select that text and then you can select the font up here. But so you can choose all the fonts they have and they have a lot. But if you don't find the one you want, you go to upload a font and it's down here. It's very easy to find. From here, what you do, you just scroll down all the way down, upload a font. And I go into the folder that I put that file type into and I double click on it. And please confirm the following. So it just, it just wanna know if you have the right to use. But if you download it within your subscription period, for example, on Creative Fabrica, yes, that's fine. Yes, upload anyway, and it will upload the font. And then we're gonna have a look how it works in Canva. It just needs a moment to upload. And there it is, it has uploaded it. What you then do, you go back into your um, canvas where you clicked on add a heading, you select it again, and then it should, that font type should then be there. Let me see if I can find it. Usually the ones that you have um, uploaded are at the top. And there it is, I believe. Is it that one? I don't think so. I need to probably look for it. Le I have, now I obviously forgot how it's called. Is that Nightmare? So let me see if I can find it. Because you can try here, Nightmare. Where is it? Oh, 
All right, that was the mistake. <laughs> you have to go out of the canvas again and go in again and then you can find it here. I think it just needs a refresher or you, maybe it would have been enough just to refresh the site, but there is it. There it is. There's your nightmare font. Pretty cool font, I think. And um, you can find these and all the other ones on um, Creative Fabrica. And then you can do with this font whatever you like um, and play around with it. And it will always to be found. You will always find it here in Canva. And it's always, always when you click on fonts, always within the uploaded fonts here. And these are all the ones that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica and re-uploaded then into um, Canva to use them. So I hope that made sense. Hope that was useful. If you liked that video, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on the print on demand journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.